It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. All that and more coming up next. It is clear, but it is cold here today as EA Sports takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team, and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? And then for the visiting Chiefs, what a year it was. A third Super Bowl appearance in four years, a second title, and it's definitely the MVP, Patrick Mahomes, that makes it all go. And just watching his development, his maturity over the years as a starting quarterback, we know about the gifts, we know about the talent, but now you add in the mental side of the game, and he controls every aspect for Kansas City. Kicker Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And this taken in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here come the defending champs, led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League, a two-time winner now in Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, He's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. In motion left goes Watson. They'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end arounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. Partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They run with a second-year man, Isaiah Pacheco. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. And not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They work now on second and nine. Toss right side to Pacheco. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of four. Now third down. I really like what he did there because he took his practice work and converted it to game action because he used his hands, got off the block, worked laterally and stayed to the outside and finished off the runner for a loss. 
On third and long, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 12-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum, but you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So here come the Patriots, led by Bailey Zappi at quarterback in his second season now out of Western Kentucky. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school, ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky, and he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole. And then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off. But you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. Here now second and nine from the 39 yard line. And they'll run the toss here with Stevenson. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. Zappi on third down. I uh, had a man but he missed him and it's incomplete it's a tried and true formula and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football if someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough that's only going to help your defense yeah he's since being hurried he got rid of it before taking the hit but incomplete so they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away and no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. A really nice gain of 25 yards. <laughs> and I feel a little bit like a traitor as a former defender because 
That big man did not want to go down and refused to go down. If you're a defender and you'll get the right angle on a big tight end like him, he can run right through you like you're not even there. And he did a lot of that on that play. On first down, Mahomes. He finds Watson. It's caught. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Well, that one caught by Rice. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Rasheed Rice. 35 yards. And the Chiefs have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run once more with Stevenson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Now give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then executed. Second and nine. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. On first down, here's Zappi. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and 10. Zappi back to throw. it in and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackles made at the Chiefs 35 it's a gain of 11 yards that time and it produces a new set of downs
Stevenson now on first and 10. Oh, some strong running. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, it's Stevenson. Shoves him aside. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. We are watching a runner having a really nice game. Carrying it very well. Vision is excellent, but boy, look at the help he's getting. Offensive line, I think they're pretty eager to block for him. Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And that one makes it 14-7. to So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he's up to the 45. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Mahomes now on first down. He hits his target, left side, Watson. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and three. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll get this down to the 40. That one goes for eight yards.
Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. Here's a second and three now from the 33. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. They went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. They were ahead of schedule after the gain of seven on first down, but the defense does not budge on second and third. That was a terrific play, causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them as he did there. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So that one on target, and it adds to this first-half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one-score lead, two-score lead, etc., but this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. to the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Possession back to the Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson headed out with the offense. You see the numbers, all those carries. If you get that many carries in the drive, you better finish it with a touchdown. And, and he did. Yeah, and, and deservedly so, right? Because we've seen times like the Carolina Panthers, sometimes Jonathan Stewart to carry the ball all the way down, and then Cam, he's such a great goal line runner, he'll carry it in. But in this case, though, that didn't happen. The fellow lugging the load, he's the one who got to reap the reward. Yeah, there was no touchdown vulture here. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Zappy. And that's complete downfield to Parker. A big play there for New England. 46 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. From the shotgun, Zappi. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. A give for Stevenson, running right. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Looking to throw, Zappi. Out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. Yeah. 
And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Second and seven, operating from the 34. They go play fake. Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. I tell you what, if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes, I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw. But 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's gonna want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Now second and three. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's been a rough go on the ground throughout the entire game, but after a run like that, they may have found the spark to get their offense kick-started. Mahomes now on first down. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end, Gray. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Mahomes going to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 22. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. On play action, it's Mahomes. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to... And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Butker on for the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the capper that put it in the end zone, a run of eight yards. Harris. 
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And there he goes, right side. Down the right sideline. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play there for New England. 58 yards. That was tremendous effort, especially after the catch. Breaking through tackles, fighting for extra yards. So was that just great effort, or were there a lot of missed tackles? Yeah, the defense did help him a bit. Yeah, he certainly did. But let's, let's focus on the positive. He made it happen. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. Nick Bolton there on the tackle. Now second and five. Zappi working from the gun. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. It's a bit of a dangerous part of the field for him to break into their bag of tricks, but for a minute there, I thought it was going to set up perfectly for him. Instead, they don't get into the end zone, but they do pick up positive yardage. From the two now, second and goal. Stevenson is into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. And Charles, the second time today that he has hit pay dirt. And once you score the first one, there is that natural tendency and there's also that, that eagerness to get back there again. Oh, he smells it. This guy smelled the end zone, and twice he's gotten there. Ryland on for the extra point. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Starting to rack up the yardage here in this first half. Five catches now and a first down. Two 
Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw brought in by Watson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 35. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw... Maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. On first down, Mahomes. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Here's second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Finds his receiver, Watson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 14. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. Travis Kelsey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless... They can get something on the board here before intermission. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Devontae Parker unable to hang on, but it's going to be second down. And Zappi to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. And there's a good opportunity. It just went awry there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. 
This time they stay on the ground. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Zappi from the gun. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And that'll bring up second down. Now Zappi. That's complete. Demario Douglas with it. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Zappi looking to throw it on first down. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Zappi to throw on first down. Short pass caught by Henry. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will close the gap down to 14. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Powering his way forward. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Chiefs on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. We got a strong first half out of the running back Isaiah Pacheco. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. And the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. And Charles, they trail here, though not really the fault of this offense. 
No, they certainly did their part in the first half, but when you're in a shootout like this, you definitely want your defense to play better, but you know that's out of your control. All you can do, keep putting points on the scoreboard and keep giving your defense opportunities to make stops. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 102 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson and a first down. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Now Zappi. Pass incomplete. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Absolutely. That was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. But we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Here's Zappi. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Running left is Stevenson. A solid stiff arm. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Once he broke through that first wave of defenders, there was a pretty big gap there for him to run. And it helps that they were in a dime defense. That's six defensive backs. So this is why a lot of teams now are searching for those linebacker safety combo type guys who can add a little bit more size on the defensive side of the ball but can still run as well because when you run against six DBs with some bigger offensive linemen, you often get this result. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Now a handoff, Stevenson, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they play their responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. 
And from the four, they get it to the eight on a pickup of four. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Now a second and six. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Seven yards there and a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like like that to try and get more pressure at the passer from the 22 now here's second and three now here's Mahomes and Watson has it right side and he'll be corralled right around the 34 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. It's now second and six at the 38 yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. Pulling a gain of three on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. This is taken at the 15. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Patriots take over. Possession back to the Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson headed out with the offense. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see him back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And he finds enough of an opening to get this one back up to his 20. 143 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, if you like the guys who run the ball, you're enjoying watching this. But the other guys, especially the defense coordinator, trying to figure out an answer on how to slow down the running game, I think maybe starts to call more blitzes because you can call run blitzes in order to try and get more people to the point of attack. On third down is Stevenson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. 
They'll send a receiver in motion left. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the shotgun, Zappi. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. A second and 10 now, third quarter action from Foxborough. Zappi. Throw right side, gonna be taken in by Henry. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Zappi looking to throw it again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 40. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory, right at the 40. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Stopped and handed a loss by Willie Gay that time. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. This offense so far on third down, they're hitting at 60%, six out of 10 thus far. This is, oh, Zappi has it knocked out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here this fourth quarter, but 
maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Ten yards on the pickup. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, no one likes to see that drop, but I'll guarantee it's not going to stop his quarterback from going back to him anytime he has open space. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 37. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think you continue to do so. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake, third down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Mahomes now to throw. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Mahomes now on first down. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call <laughs> it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. Throw over the middle, caught by the tight end, Gray. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter trying to get to the finish line. And here they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off Harrison with the touchdown the run? Winning football 101, check that box. 
Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Patriots 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and a yard. Zappi back to throw. Over the middle, he's got Parker. And Parker's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Zappi looks to throw it. He'll find Parker again, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. On second down, Zappi to throw it. Open man down the field is Henry. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 22-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Again, it's Zappi. He finds Douglas complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On the handoff, Stevenson. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Zappi going to bootleg out. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. We have to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. 
The offense on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and six. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The fourth down pass from the five falls incomplete, and the ball is going to be going back to the Chiefs. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. 51 yards rushing for them now to this point. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Here's Pacheco once again. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage, the stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them, use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Brings up second and eight at the 18 yard line. This is second and eight. A handoff now for Pacheco. And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch signal four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Now Zappi. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Here's Zappi, another shot on second down. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A tough spot here after that sack. Zappi and the Pats now face a third and long. Now back to throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 
Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can't go with a, try to go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And Zappi to throw. He finds Parker. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll throw again with Zappi. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Zappi. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Zappi, one final shot here. One last shot at the end zone. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half the adjustment.